tomorrow it's a session about uh, kind of democracy in Europe and advancing democracy in Europe. And there again, I'm going to be a little bit negative to some extent. I'm going to look at the barriers that the European project to date uh, poses to trying to poses to any attempt to uh, implement more progressive or democratic policies. My central argument is going to be that the very construction of economic and monetary union was designed to foreclose democracy. So the construction of a European Central Bank uh, took things like the exchange rate and the interest rate out of the hands of democratically elected governments and gave it to a kind of technocratic council of decision makers imbued with a kind of monetarist anti-inflationary ideology. And you've also got the attempt to do the same with fiscal policy, with the Stability and Growth Pact that seeks to limit to 3% of GDP countries, uh, countries' debt levels. And that's partly what's driving the Greek and Irish yeah. and Portuguese uh, current programs is this lunatic determination to get the deficits and the debt levels down to completely unreasonable uh, ratios, arbitrary ratios, in a, in a farcically short space of time. So you have this attempt to kind of institutionalise or lock in certain types of economic policies and to kind of remove them from political or democratic debate. And in a sense what the project has been about. So introducing democracy within that context I think involves challenging that very context and I think that involves perhaps taking on a few sacred cows and I think the, the most fundamental one is, is the euro. Uh, whether the euro in it as currently constituted isn't more of a straitjacket that actually contributes to pauperisation especially in the periphery rather than something that represents an achievement of European unity and something to be preserved.